This is In the Paint, courtside highlights of Arizona Junior College Hoops. The Glendale Gauchos squared off against their west side rivals, the Phoenix College Bears. The Gauchos were looking to avenge a 30-point loss they suffered at home last month, and the Bears were looking to maintain their two-game lead atop the conference standings. Both teams came out on fire. PC's LeVette Parker sinks this three-pointer, putting the Bears up 5-2. But Glendale's Kyrie Johnson comes down the court and answers right back, sinking this three to tie the game at five. Later in the half, Rashad Goolsby runs a great give and go with Emmanuel Gant, and Goolsby finishes at the rim for the score. The Bears continue to keep the Gauchos defense off balance. First, LeVette Parker hits the three. Then the next time down the court, Kenny Sutton makes his beautiful baseline cut, gets the hoop and the foul. BC led 34-21. With the Gauchos trailing 41-30 to start the second half, sophomores Dominique Bankowski and Trayvon Newman try to get GCC back in the game. They combined for 20 of the team's 26 second half points and did cut the lead to as low as eight. The Bears offense kept rolling though, hitting shots from behind the arc and finishing strong at the rim. Capped off by this Rashad Goolsby dunk, Phoenix cruised to a 77-56 victory. For In the Paint, I'm Mike Caratanudo, MCTV Sports. Coach East College and the conference's leading scorer, Chaz Mack, was the Mesa to take on the Thunderbirds who were ready to go. Sindhu Diallo got MCC on the board early, draining this jumper from downtown. 3-0 Thunderbird. Mack, who averages just over 20 points a game, banks it off the glass with his left hand for two of his game-high 25 points. T-Bird reserve forward Michael Byers had himself a night. Alley oop from Diallo for the crowd-pleasing jam. MCC playing some tough defense. Diallo with the steal here and goes in for the easy dunk. But at halftime, the Apaches led it by 10, 45-35. Early on in the second half, T-Bird guard Malik Washington goes hard to his left for the driving layup. At this point, Mesa was down by 13, but they would mount a great comeback. Diallo drives hard and then pulls up for a quick jumper, rattles the twine for two. Another MCC steal, and this time Adonis Arm goes in for the jam, and the Thunderbirds are back on top by one, 62-61. Cochise regains the lead with this three-pointer by Maki Morris from deep in the corner. Fires three for three from beyond the arc, hits this three-pointer. He ended up with 17 points. Mesa closes it out with a big win at home, 92-81 over Cochise. For In the Paint, I'm Drew Wathi, MCTV Sports. On sophomore night at Glendale, the Gauchos hosted the Cochise Apaches in this men's ACC-AC matchup. Coach East was looking for the season sweep of Glendale. Coach East took charge from the opening tip. Freshman guard Jimmy Orange gets the opening score of the game with this beautiful crossover and then slice to the rim for the finish. The Gauchos finally broke through as Dominique Bradley sets the pick, then rolls to the basket and scores. GCC trailed 11 to two. The rest of the half was the Chaz Mack show. The Apache sophomore forward hit shots from all over the floor. Mack sunk this three then became a beast down low as he was getting the ball close to the rim and converting. Mack finished the first half with 18 points and the Apaches went into the locker room up 43-22. In the second half, the Gauchos tried to battle back. Dominique Bradley, Trayvon Newman, and Kyrie Johnson heated up from the field and hit big shots from all over the court, but couldn't cut into Coach East's lead. The second half for Coach East was dominated by 6'8 sophomore forward Caleb Hiley. Hiley owned the paint. He was driving to the hoop, scoring, and getting fouled. Then he was just using his height advantage to punish Glendale down low, scoring 21 points in the half. Coach East cruised to a 91-55 win. For In the Paint, I'm Mike Caratanudo, MCTV Sports.